Hello and welcome to Read Science. Today in Read Science, we are going to discuss about fake forces. The forces which are not real, which are called pseudo forces. We will learn how to identify a pseudo force. But before going into that, I would like to discuss about friends, both inertia and non-inertia. Before I discuss about non-inertial frames, let us discuss about what is an inertial frame. An inertial frame is a frame where the Newton's laws of motion, that force equal to mass into actual acceleration, holds in its own form. Suppose I am sitting on my bike, I am at rest. What are the forces acting on me? Gravity, which is acting downwards. The normal reaction force, which is acting upwards. Uh, there will be some amount of friction when I try to move, but uh, now it is zero because uh, I am at rest. So this is an inertial frame. But when I start my bike, I give the gear and I start to move. Myself from inertial to a non-inertial reference frame. It's a non-inertial frame when the body is moving in a straight line. When we switch from inertial to non-inertial frame, all the physical forces and the pseudo forces are present. Another way to have a non-inertial reference frame is to rotate an object. Let me explain the forces acting on a non-inertial reference frame with the keychain. From my reference frame, which is an inertial reference frame, where all the Newton's laws of motion are valid, where all the forces are real force, where all the forces are original forces, where all the forces are physical forces. And when I am talking about that this is rotating, I am talking about this system this entire system from my reference frame but when I switch from my inertial reference frame to the reference frame of this ring which is uh, rotating along with all the other physical forces some forces we need to consider which are called pseudo forces pseudo forces are not real we apply them for technical purpose. We apply them to solve some mathematical relation. Now let us discuss how to identify a pseudo force, a fake force, which is not a physical force. Whenever we are talking about some system, whenever we are talking about some forces, we need to ask one question. Who is applying the force? When in slow motion we have seen that when this uh, key and this gift item is uh, rotating along this uh, ring, they stick together almost. They are pushed outward. Now, if I ask ourselves that who is pushing the key outward, who is pushing the conch outwards, who is responsible for these forces, we won't get any answer because that is the pseudo force. They do appear on pen and paper when we are going to analyze this situation. Let's talk about non-inertial frames attached to a rectilinear motion. Please observe the motion of my bag. In the starting and the ending of the rectilinear motion, it feels that someone pushed my bag in the left and right direction. If we ask who is pushing the bag, we don't get any answer. That is a pseudo force. In inertial frame, force equal to mass into acceleration is valid in its form. But in non-inertial frame, this is not valid. And in order to make this valid, that force is equal to mass into acceleration, we add another force which is the pseudo force 
so pseudophores come just to make this force equal to mass into acceleration relation valid so that we could apply the mathematical techniques we know so this is not a physical force this is not actually appearing in the non inertial reference frames we are adding this with my pen on this paper so that our life becomes simple so that we can do easy mathematics here i would like to make a a, a comment that uh, when we are saying that this is rotating in a circle and a pseudo force is applying on it this is a wrong statement the system is rotating the ring is rotating the key chain and this item is rotating but that is from my reference frame and pseudo force is applied to the system that pseudo force appears only in the reference from of this ring so if i say that this is rotating in a circle and hence a pseudo force is applied on it this is a wrong statement utterly wrong statement because here we are using one sentence and in that one sentence we are talking about two reference frames this is wrong this is the end of my this video please let me know in the comment section below that how do you like the video keep physics in thanks for your time